So um, today we want to talk about um, accent in in English, how important it is to have a um, certain language, um, certain accent. Sorry. So uh, we came across this word last night, um, forehead, which you pronounce it differently, and I didn't understand. Well. There you can explain. I didn't think I was saying anything weird. We were reading. Um, it turned out it was because I didn't understand. We didn't understand. We were reading Harry Potter, the latest one, and so as we do before bed, reading a book. Yeah. I each of us take turns in being an audio book, and so I was reading, and I got to Harry Potter, and he had the thing on his forehead. Forehead. And. And I didn't understand, so I was like, "What did you just say?" And then he said, "Forehead." Which is supposed to be well for it. When I was a kid, we had a nursery rhyme. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And the reason why it's forehead is because uh, when she was good, she was very, very good, and when she was bad, she was horrid. Yeah, but that's so, a rhyme. You could, you could make up anything. It could be anything. No, but yeah, it could be. You can't no realize your life on a rhyme. Otherwise, if it was forehead that what I said is rhyme and then she was good she was very very good then she was bad she was whorehead but it's a rhyme so nobody took it seriously no, but the, that's, that's that's not so, very nice so for we, the girl but anyway so we we took this very uh, she's not a whorehead <laughs> no obviously um, bear she, isn't either bear you're getting in the camera ah. she has a very beautiful forehead they yeah, have such bear. beautiful forehead your forehead. Yeah. Look at your forehead. It's not so, very uh, hard. So we took we we take this very seriously, and we asked a lot of friends. Um, and turn out a lot of even your friends pronounce that forehead. Well, we took it as seriously as it could be taken on the day of the debate between yeah. Clinton and Trump. And it seems like people are more interested in our topic than Clinton Trump. I obviously. think so. Bear, do you think that it's important? Kitmarame, we took by teal. Yeah, see, see, you have to have a certain accent to see, get. So accents are important. Very bear, important. You notice Bear only speaks actually Thai. Thai. So if you wanted to say Bai Tio, she doesn't really get it. But if I say Bai Tio, ah, ah, see, she gets the head tilt. So accent is important. It speaks to the heart. Yeah, but uh, but it's like saying can't and can and can't. It doesn't really define anything, does it? Well, it does. I If mean, you say I can't do it, I can't do it. It okay, shows where you where your from. English is from. Yes, yeah, true. But I mean, people still understand it. But what when you say for it, people for don't. It. Yeah, for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean. So that de can depend that? when you're when you're just learning a language. Okay, pronunciation. You just want people to understand. But when you're speaking English at the level you're doing, and and turn out everybody says forehead. Not everybody. Oh, okay, 90% of the people that we have other, um, done this survey today. There were some other ex-convicts from Australia, Australia that say for it. To be and Brits, they say for it. No, the British said for Well, some of, some of them go either way. Anyway, I think that pronunciation is important when you speak. Yeah. And when you go past a certain level when you can speak English mm -hmm. already or whatever language, you get you then start to tune and fine tune the way you speak to target different audiences. But I don't think I disagree with that. Like for me, as long as you can communicate, you can deliver your message. That should be enough. Okay. So, If I talk like that, and you want to eat the noodle, and I say it's hot, I talk with you. I think you're very pretty, girl. I can't. I but I can't judge you because you're from like China. This. I can't judge you because you speak like a Chinese. You're not talking about me. I talk a very pretty girl. It's very good. You're understanding you are, me. No, you're, you think, you, you think are, you know what I say. I do. I do. I yeah. understand. The that way you that said. you speak is going to have a subconscious way. So you way. saying that you you saying that for example you saying that all Thai, all the Thai people that speak English need to get rid of the English and then speak a certain accent. I'm that what you're saying that is not fair. It, no. Not everyone has a British. I'm English. saying. I'm saying. No, I'm happy. Ah, man, man, for me. I'm saying that. If you're speaking English enough just to communicate, yeah. fair enough. 
However, I speak Thai people. I am speaking English like this. I talk to you. If you're doing that in business with the CEO of a Western yeah, okay, company that, that isn't is not, used to I that, know, okay, they're that. going to have certain preconceptions about what the depth of your knowledge of the language is. Of, of, of course, totally. Just, but even just like Thais and Fla. Of course, totally. But I mean, like, if you have, if you're Chinese and you're trying to speak English, and then you just turn out to speak tiny English. Chinglish. Exactly, and, and so. And then, if you can, you know, still so it deliver what whatever you're... your message is, I think that's okay. Well, one, some people will turn off. Two, you lose some of your audience. Three, if you're doing it in business, some of the people that you need to get into, if they think that somebody's going to be speaking a certain way, or they, the way they speak, gives them the subconscious impression that they're not going to get it. When they're not speaking to the heart, yeah, okay, it true. has an effect. Yes, yeah, true. Because it can be annoying, like if you have to talk to someone who can't really. For example, okay, Thai is coming to Thailand. Have you ever seen a p h a l a n g yeah, a foreigner mm-hmm. who had the good intention to speak Thai when they're ordering Starbucks, but they yeah. really can't be understood by the person at the cashier? What happens? It's true, and then they switch off into English. Who switches? The staff. Right. Why do they switch? Because they don't understand what you're saying. Okay, And I get it. But I mean, you can't just. But that's different than what I'm saying, though. Right. What I'm saying is like you're trying to make a point that you you need to have a certain accent when you're speaking English or foreign language. Well, what what language, I'm what I'm saying which is which I don't think it's important. Okay, so let's let's go back and look at that. If that person started speaking. Straight away, in a way that the Starbucks person didn't even think to change into English. Yeah. Nothing would happen. That's fine because they're using it functionally. Yeah. But the fact that their language wasn't at the point, it stopped them. Yeah. And so, so that's and so the, it creates. True. So that's the matter of their ability in speaking another language is not about accent. Well, it could be. Some it's people, not. some people actually have a lot of vocabulary, but they come out. And as soon as the Thai person, they don't have structure. As soon as the Thai person hears them, so shorty cop, chai, chamai, chamai. As soon as they start speaking in this Falang Thai way, the Thai will just assume they don't understand. When 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 the foreigner says shai cop, it's not an accent. That's the wrong way of speaking a word. It's like me saying forehead. But it's a totally different word. It's not forehead. It's forehead. I hear what you're saying, but some. People, just like learning Thai, the person at Starbucks thinks that they have a certain limit to their knowledge, even if yeah, they do yeah. or don't. Yeah, just true. same in English. If you start saying things a certain way at a certain level, people yeah. assume the depth of your knowledge and then could limit then the what's communicated to you. Now, okay, when you get to the level of forehead, forehead, what do you say, forehead versus forehead? forehead okay. This is now getting into a new level of fine-tuning your pronunciation. However, I can say that an Australian or a British person, if they hear somebody speaking like that, who well, isn't a Native American, sp- but if you're supposing you did as a Thai who've learned English and you start speaking like From that, George Bush, that could. Make certain English speakers not want to listen to what you've got to say. Why? Because I'm from Because Texas. Because there are some prejudices held again in the English-speaking world, native English-speaking world, against certain accents. Not saying it's right or wrong, but so even my accent, an Australian accent, might be difficult for some people in yeah. the U.S. to understand. It's true. So it depends who the audience is. Yeah, but. I mean, for me, as long as you can understand, you know, another party, that should be enough. And as long as you don't like overdo it. Yeah, but so. Like you talk like you know, comes come from California, you know, and like literally, yeah, like if, if you don't, don't do that, do then that. it's just no. And this is why we don't watch the Kardashians. No, we do. We do watch a lot of them. Anyway, accent is it will the delivery is important yeah, and we can similar. see it from there because if I just say this word here like this, and you want to canom and nothing happens, but understand. watch what happens if I say in the correct accent with the correct stress and tone weighting in Thai, canom, canom, 
Kanum. Now I'll give you another example. If I'm just speaking like this and I say the word tiao just like this, tiao doesn't matter. But if I say it with the correct falling tone, by tiao. Ah, see. So bear is a barometer. Maybe this is some kind of deep, deep thing back in animals yeah. that look for something that an strikes animal. the heart. When they speak, mm. and you see her getting excited when she hears a sound that's familiar to her, and I think that's what the reason why when I try to learn a language, I look at the delivery as being as just as important as the words and other things that sure. you know. Yeah, as long as you can communicate, and it's uh, forehead. Forehead. 